is Anastasia Smith of Journey Chanel Designs and today we will be making the braided with love jacket using line brand Heartland yarn which is a size 4 or worsted weight yarn and this is the color Grand Canyon. You will also need the size H 5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a measuring tape. Let's get started. We're going to start by making the back panel and you're going to make a slip knot. You'll now chain 54 chains for a size large. Once you have 54 chains, you will now make row one and you will make a half double crochet in the second chain from your hook. Half double crochet in the next chain. Half double crochet in the next chain. Half double crochet in the next chain. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last chain. Once you're finished, you should have a total of 53 half double crochet stitches for size large. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to half double crochet in the next six stitches, starting in the same stitch as your beginning chain one. You will now make a half double crochet in the next stitch and now you will chain 13. Once you have 13 chains you are going to make a loop by inserting your hook into the front two loops through the top and you're going to yarn over and pull through all loops. Now you're going to make a half double crochet in the next eight stitches. Once you have all eight half double crochet stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch and now you're going to chain 13. Once you have all 13 chains, you're going to insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet stitch that you just worked and this will create a loop. Now you're going to yarn over your hook and pull through all loops. Now you're going to half double crochet in the next 10 stitches.
Once you have all 10 half double crochet stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch and then chain 10. Once you're done with all 10 chains, you're going to insert your hook into the first front two loops. You're going to yarn over your hook and you're going to pull through all loops. You're going to half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. When you're finished with all 10 stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to chain 13. Once you're done with all 13 chains, you're going to insert your hook into the front two loops. You're going to yarn over your hook and pull through all loops. And now you're going to half double crochet in the next eight stitches. When you're finished with all eight stitches you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to chain 13. When you're finished with all 13 chains you're going to insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet you're going to yarn over your hook and you're going to pull through all loops. And now you're going to half double crochet in the remaining six stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 53 stitches, four chain 13 loops, and one chain 10 loop. You'll now chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to make a half double crochet in the same stitch as your beginning chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, Half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to half double crochet in the stitch just before your chain loop, and you're going to half double crochet in the stitch just after your chain loop. Sometimes it's hidden, so you need to make sure you catch it. And you're going to push your loop backwards so it's on the right side of your work. Now you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch. Once 
When you're done, you should have a total of 53 half double crochet stitches for size large. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row four, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next six stitches, including the same stitch as your beginning chain one. When you're done with all six stitches, you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. It should look a little bit different because of the loop that was there from the previous row. And now you're going to chain 12. You will now insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet stitch. You're going to yarn over your hook and pull through all loops. Now you're going to make a half double crochet in the next eight stitches. When you're done with all eight stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to chain 12. Now you're going to insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet stitch. Yarn over and pull through all loops, and you're going to half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. When you're done with all 10 stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to chain 10. You're going to finish off your chain loop by inserting your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet. You're going to yarn over and pull through all loops and now you're going to half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. When you're done with all 10 stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch, and now you're going to chain 12. Now finish off the chain loop by inserting your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over, pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the next eight stitches.
When you're done with all eight stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to chain 12. Now you're going to finish off your chain loop by inserting your hook into the front two loops, yarn over and pull through all loops. Now you're going to half double crochet in the last six stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 53 stitches, 4 chain 12 loops, and 1 chain 10 loop. Now for row 5, you're going to chain 1 and turn your work. You're going to half double crochet in the same stitch as your beginning chain 1, half double crochet in the next stitch, 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 Half double crochet in the stitch just before your chain loop. Half double crochet in the stitch just after your chain loop. Making sure to push your chain loop towards the back. Half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch. When you are done, you should have a total of 53 half double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row six, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next six stitches, including the same stitch as your beginning chain one. Once you're done with all six stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of seven in all. And now you're going to chain 10. Now you're going to finish off your chain loop by inserting your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the next eight stitches. When you're done with all eight stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine stitches in all. And now you're going to chain 10. Now finish off your chain loop by inserting your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet and yarn over and pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. When you're done with all 10 stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of 11 stitches in all. Now chain 10. You're going to finish off your chain loop by inserting your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops, and half double crochet in the next 10 stitches.
When you're done with all 10, you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to chain 10. To finish off the loop, you're going to insert into the front two loops, yarn over and pull through all loops. And now you're going to half double crochet in the next eight stitches. When you're done with all eight, you're going to have to double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine in all. You're going to chain 10. You're going to finish off the loop, insert your hook into the front two loops of the half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops. And now you're going to have double crochet in the last six stitches. When you're done. You should have a total of 53 stitches and five chain loops. And now you're going to repeat rows five through six nine more times for a total of 24 back panel rows. When you're done with all 24 rows, you're going to finish off and weave in your ends. You're going to flip your back panel up so your foundation first row is facing up. And from the outside working in, you're going to count 17 stitches and place a stitch marker in the 17th stitch. And you're going to repeat this on both sides. We will now be making the front panels. We're going to start with the left side and attach your yarn to the left stitch marker and work towards the outer edge. And then when we're done with that one, we're going to work the right front panel and we're going to attach our yarn to the far right side working towards the stitch marker. Now we're going to make the left front panel first and you're going to attach your yarn at the second stitch marker farthest to the left. And you're going to make a half double crochet in the same stitch as your stitch marker. Half double crochet in the next stitch and chain 13. Finish off the loop by inserting your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet stitch. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the next eight stitches. When you're done with all eight stitches, you're going to make another half double crochet for a total of nine half double crochet stitches in all. And now you're going to chain 13. You're going to finish off by inserting your hook into the front two loops, yarn over and pull through all loops. And now you're going to half double crochet in the last six stitches.
When you're done, you should have a total of 17 stitches and two chain 13 loops. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to make a half double crochet in the same first stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch. When you're done, you should have a total of 17 half double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work, and you're going to make a half double crochet in the same stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch, and now chain 12. Finish off the loop, insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over your hook, pull through all loops, and half double crochet in the next eight stitches. When you're done with all eight, you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine stitches in all. And now you're going to chain 12. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the last six stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 17 stitches and two chain 12 loops. Now you're gonna chain one and turn your work. You're going to make a half double crochet in the same stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch. When you're done you should have a total of 17 half double crochet stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work, and you're going to make a half double crochet in the same first stitch, Half double crochet in the next stitch, chain 10, insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet stitch, yarn over and pull through all loops, and half double crochet in the next eight stitches. When you're done with all eight, you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine in all, and now you're going to chain ten. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops, and you're going to half double crochet in the last six stitches.
When you're done, you should have a total of 17 stitches and two chain loops. Now you're gonna chain one and turn your work and you're gonna repeat row four, making a half double crochet in the same stitch and in each stitch all the way across. When you are done, you are going to repeat rows five through six three more times for a total of 12 front panel rows. When you're done with all 12, you're gonna repeat row five one more time. And when you're done, you're gonna chain one and turn your work. You're gonna make a half double crochet in the same first stitch, half double crochet in the same stitch. So this will be an increase row. Half double crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're gonna make a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across ending in your second to last stitch. And you're gonna make two half double crochet in your last stitch. When you're done, you should have a total of 19 half double crochet stitches for size large. Now you're gonna chain one and turn your work. You're gonna make a half double crochet in the same stitch in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of three in all. And now you're gonna chain 10. When you're done, you're gonna insert your hook into the front two loops. You're gonna yarn over your hook and pull through all loops. Now you're gonna half double crochet in the next eight stitches. When you're finished with all eight, you're gonna half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine in all. And now you're gonna chain 10. You're gonna insert your hook into the front two loops, yarn over and pull through all loops. And now you're gonna half double crochet in the last seven stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 19 stitches, two chain loops in all. Now you're gonna chain one and turn your work. You're gonna make two half double crochet in the same first stitch. Half double crochet in the next 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 stitch. And you're gonna repeat this all the way across ending in your second to last stitch. When you're done with your second to last stitch, you're gonna make two half double crochets in the last stitch. When you're done, you should have a total of 21 half double crochet stitches for size large. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Half double crochet in the next three stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of four stitches. And now you're gonna chain 10. You're gonna finish off by inserting your hook into the front two loops, yarn over your hook and pull through all loops. And now you're gonna half double crochet in the next eight stitches.
Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine stitches in all. Now you're going to chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops. Half double crochet in the last eight stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 21 stitches and two chain loops. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row 18, you will repeat row 16. When you're done, you will have a total of 23 half double crochet stitches, making sure to add an increase at the first stitch and the last stitch. Now chain one and turn your work. For row 19, you will half double crochet in the next Four stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of five stitches in all, and now you're going to chain ten. Insert your hook into the front two loops. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the next eight stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of 9 stitches in all, and chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops, and half double crochet in the last 9 stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 23 stitches and two chain loops. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row 20, you're going to repeat row 18, making sure to increase on the beginning stitch and the last stitch. And when you're done, you will have a total of 25 stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to half double crochet in the next five stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of six stitches in all and now you will chain ten. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops, and now half double crochet in the next eight stitches.
have double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine stitches in all and now chain 10 insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet yarn over and pull through all loops and now half double crochet in the last 10 stitches when you are done, you should have a total of 25 half double crochet stitches and two chain loops. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to repeat row 20, making an increase at the beginning and at the end of this row. When you're done, you should have a total of 27 half double crochet stitches for size large. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And now you're going to make a half double crochet in the next six stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of seven in all, and now you're going to chain 10. You're going to insert your hook into the front two loops of the half double crochet. You're going to yarn over and pull through all loops, and now you're going to half double crochet in the next eight stitches. Now you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine stitches in all and now you're going to chain 10 insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet yarn over and pull through all loops and now half double crochet in the last 11 stitches When you're done, you should have a total of 27 stitches and two chain loops. Now you will finish off and weave in your ends and we will begin your right front panel by attaching your yarn on the right side to the far right stitch. You're going to chain one and make a half double crochet in the same stitch. Half double crochet in the next five stitches for a total of six stitches in all. Half double crochet in the next stitch and now chain 13. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the next eight stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine stitches in all and you're going to chain 13. You're going to insert your hook through the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops 
And now you're going to half double crochet in your last stitch, which is in your last stitch marker. And you should have a total of 17 stitches to chain 13 loops. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to half double crochet in that same first stitch and in each stitch all the way across. When you're done, you should have a total of 17 half double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to half double crochet in the same stitch in the next five stitches for a total of six stitches in all. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of 7 stitches and now chain 12. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the next 8 stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of 9 stitches in all. You're going to chain 12. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Half double crochet in the very last stitch. You should have a total of 17 stitches to chain 12 loops. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. And for row four, you're going to repeat row two all the way across. You should have a total of 17 half double crochet stitches when you're done. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And you're going to work six half double crochet stitches in the next six stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of 7 stitches in all, and now chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops, yarn over and pull through all loops. Half double crochet in the next 8 stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of 9 stitches in all. Chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops, yarn over and pull through all loops. Half double crochet in the last stitch. You should have a total of 17 stitches in two chain 10 loops. And now you're going to repeat rows 4 through 5 four times for a total of 13 front panel rows. Now that you have all 13 rows, you're going to chain 1 and turn your work. And we will begin our increase row. So you're going to make two half double crochets in your same first stitch. You're going to half double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch all the way across until you reach your second to last stitch.
Once you're finished with your second to last stitch, you're going to make two half double crochets in your last stitch. When you're done, you should have a total of 19 half double crochet stitches. Chain one and turn your work. Now half double crochet in the same stitch in the next six stitches for a total of seven stitches in all. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of eight stitches. Now you're going to chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Half double crochet in the next eight stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine stitches in all and now chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops and half double crochet in the last two stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 19 stitches and two chain loops. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And you're going to repeat row 14 for row 16. So two increases at the beginning, half double crochet all the way across, two increases at the very last stitch. When you're done, you should have a total of 21 half double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. And now you're going to make eight half double crochet stitches in the next eight stitches. You repeat that all the way across until you get to your chain loop. You're going to half double crochet in that same stitch and then you're going to chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops, yarn over, pull through all loops. Half double crochet in the next eight stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine stitches in all. You're going to chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the last three stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 21 stitches and two chain loops. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And you're going to repeat row 16 for row 18, making two increases, one at the first stitch and one at the last stitch. When you're done, you should have a total of 23 half double crochet stitches. And chain one and turn your work. You're going to half double crochet in the next nine stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch for a total of 10 stitches and then chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops. Now half double crochet in the next eight stitches plus your loop chain stitch for a total of nine in all.
Now chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops, half double crochet in the last four stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 23 stitches and two chain loops. Now you're gonna chain one and turn your work. And for row 20, you're gonna repeat row 18, making an increase at the first stitch and an increase at the last stitch. When you're done, you should have a total of 25 half double crochet stitches. Now you're gonna chain one and turn your work. And now you're going to half double crochet in the same stitch in the next nine stitches for a total of 10 stitches in all. Make a half double crochet in the chain loop stitch for a total of 11 stitches and chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over, pull through all loops, and half double crochet in the next eight stitches plus your chain loop for a total of nine in all. Now chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over, pull through all loops, and now half double crochet in the last five stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 25 stitches and two chain loops. Now you're gonna chain one and turn your work. And you're gonna repeat row 20 for row 22, making an increase at the beginning and the ending stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 27 half double crochet stitches. You're gonna chain one and turn your work. And now you're gonna make a half double crochet in the next 11 stitches plus your chain loop stitch for a total of 12 in all. When you're done with all 12, you're gonna chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over your hook and pull through all loops. And now half double crochet in the next eight stitches plus your chain loop stitch for a total of nine stitches in all. Now chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet, yarn over your hook and pull through all loops. Half double crochet in the last six stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 27 stitches and two chain loops. Do not finish off. We will now be working on the body by working across the panel you just made, 
making an arm chain, working across the back panel, making another arm chain, and working across the front panel. So you're going to continue on, you're going to chain one and turn your work, and you're going to half double crochet in the same stitch in an east stitch all the way across your second front panel. When you have finished in your last stitch, you should have a total of 27 half double crochet stitches. You are now going to chain 13 for your armhole. And now you're going to connect your chain to your first stitch on your back panel. So you're going to make a half double crochet in the first stitch on your back panel. And then each stitch across for a total of 53 back panel stitches. When you're done with your last back panel stitch, you're going to chain 13 for your second armhole. And we will now connect to the first front panel, making a half double crochet in the very first stitch of the front panel. And you're going to work in each half double crochet stitch all the way across the front panel for a total of 27 half double crochet stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 133 body stitches and chains all together. Okay, for row two of the body, you're going to make a half double crochet in the same stitch in the next 11 stitches, including your chain loop stitch for a total of 12 in all, and then you're gonna chain 10. You're gonna half double crochet in the next eight, plus the chain loop stitch for a total of nine stitches. Then you're gonna chain 10. And then you're going to half double crochet in each stitch in each chain all the way across until your next chain loop stitch. You're going to half double crochet in the chain loop stitch. You're going to chain 10. Half double crochet in the next 8 stitches plus your chain loop stitch for a total of 9 stitches. You're going to chain 10. Half double crochet in the next 10 stitches plus your loop chain stitch for a total of 11 stitches. And you're going to chain 10. Half double crochet in the next 10 stitches plus your chain loop stitch for a total of 11 stitches. And then you're going to chain 10. Half double crochet in the next 8 stitches plus your chain loop stitch for a total of 9 stitches. And you're going to chain 10. Half double crochet in each stitch in each chain all the way across until you get to your next chain loop stitch. You're going to make a half double crochet in the chain loop stitch and chain 10. Half double crochet in each stitch all the way across in the next eight stitches and in the chain loop stitch, chain 10, and then half double crochet in the last 11 stitches for a total of 133 stitches in all in nine chain loops. For row three, you're going to half double crochet in, in each stitch all the way across for a total of 133 half double crochet stitches. And now you're going to repeat rows two through three, three 16 times for a total of 33 body rows, and then you're going to repeat row two one more time. And now we will be working the pocket section. Counting from the inside of your cardigan, working towards the outside inner arm, you're going to count five stitches and place a stitch marker. Now count another 17 stitches and place a second stitch marker. You will now repeat this for the other side, working from the inside towards the outside, for row 35, we will be making your pocket row, so you're going to make a chain one and half double crochet in the same stitch as your beginning chain one and half double crochet in the next five stitches. Ending in your first stitch marker.
Now you're going to chain 17. You will now skip 17 stitches and make a half double crochet in your next stitch marker stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch all the way across for a total of 89 stitches ending in your third stitch marker. When you have finished your half double crochet in the third stitch marker, you're going to chain 17. You're going to skip 17 and make a half double crochet in the fourth stitch marker. And half double crochet in the remaining five stitches. You should have a total of 133 body stitches in all, including the chains. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And now you're going to make 11 half double crochets in the next 11 stitches and chains. And you're going to chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet. Yarn over your hook and pull through all loops. You're going to half double crochet in the next eight plus the chain loop stitch for a total of nine stitches. Then you're going to chain 10. Insert your hook into the front two loops of your half double crochet. Yarn over and pull through all loops. And you're going to half double crochet in the next chain and in each chain or stitch all the way around following the same pattern as before. Half double crocheting so many stitches. Half double crochet in the chain loop stitch. Chain 10. Finish off the loop half double crochet again, and so on and so forth. By continuing to repeat row two of the body, working all the way across. When you're finished, you're gonna repeat rows two through three nine more times for a total of 18 pocket rows. Once you're done, you're gonna finish off and weave in your ends. And now we will continue with part two in the next video on how to braid and finishing off the body, the collar, and the sleeves. I hope you enjoy and see you on the next video.